You're just in time for the final countdown! Hey Towers, welcome to Wednesday. Now look, I know a lot of you, or at least the 30-ish of you that watch this every week, are going to say to me, Hey Justin, what happened on Monday? I didn't see pre-trending. That's a fantastic point. To that I will say, correct, you did not see a pre-trending episode on Monday. Can we move on now? So I got tagged by this fart box over here to do a little Q&A session on a, on a YouTube game. And apparently that means that I have to answer some questions that he answered in his video, and then at the end of this video I have to tag someone or multiple people to continue the game. This is what we do with our free time. Don't judge us, you're watching it. So on to the questions! Question number one, if you had to choose between the love of your life and your favorite celeb, who would you choose? That's, that's an easy one. I would choose the love of my life who happens to be my favorite celebrity, because she's a celebrity in my heart. Let me go ahead and just add one more to that. Question number two. If your mom and dad were both in danger, who would you save and who would you let die? Well, this is a tricky question for me because I have a stepmom and a stepdad who have both been there for me as a biological parent as well. So I technically have like four, four parents and then my friend Bob, his parents took me in when I was a kid. They, they treated me like their own child, so I technically have six uh, parents. And then I had a friend Jonathan, his parents took me in like one of their own, so that makes eight. Well, and then Bob's grandparents, they treated me like their own grandson, so their grandparents, which is technically a version of parents, so that would be a ten, that would be, that would be ten. Plus, then I've got my wife's dad, who he's, you know, a father-in-law, he's like, you know, he's like a father to me, so that would, that's 11 parents. Yellow, final answer. What was the question? Question number three. If you could eat one thing the rest of your life, what would it be? Ah, uh, pizza. No. Hamburgers. No. Cheeseburgers. No. Bacon cheeseburgers. Bacon, bacon cheeseburgers with lettuce, tomato, onion, a little bit of mayo, mustard, ketchup, maybe some waffle fries on the side and like a pickle spear. Kale, that's not right. And a mousse bouche, that's food, right? That's a tough one. I'd probably say it's a tie between pizza and a bacon cheeseburger. Steak! I gotta go figure this out. Number four! If you find out you were adopted, what would you tell your fake parents? I was the one that flooded the basement. You can't be mad at me, I'm adopted. Are you gay, straight, or bisexual? I am straight. Although, he is an attractive mother one, two, three, four, five, six. If you were locked in the closet for 24 hours, would you choose to come out of the closet or live there from now on? I feel like this is a trick question. Of course I'm gonna come out of the closet. Wait, how big is it? Well, I don't know. It could be fun to live in the closet. It's like a fort. Like all, all guys like forts. Close the door, lock it off, you're good. How big is it? I need to know how big it is. Number seven. If you were gay, how would you break the news to your parents? Okay, I'm definitely seeing a pattern with these questions. I don't know, I'd probably say, hey, mom and dad and my other mom and dad, so like my step my, my mom and stepdad and dad and stepmom and my my wife's fa so my father in law Bob's parents because they you know they were there for me like I said his grandparents they 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 might have uh, some objections and my and my friend John's parents so that, no well see John's parents they're split too so there's that's oh god that's thirteen so I'd probably get all thirteen people together and just say hey. Guess what? I'm gay. And then we'd, we'd probably go out for hamburgers. Or cheeseburgers. Bacon cheeseburgers. Or steaks. Eight. Now that you've come out to your parents, will they finally accept you? I'm really confused. I feel like the person who made these questions up might need to do a little bit of self-reflection. But if I had come out to my parents, yes, I would accept it, I guess. I, what are you gonna deny it? Mom? Dad, I'm gay, but I'll never admit it. And you can't make me! What's the weirdest thing you've ever done in public? Besides this vlog, I fell asleep at a bus stop while I was in college. I was pretty sauced. I also looked like this at one point in time. That was pretty embarrassing. <clears throat> 10. What is the strangest interaction you've had with a person of the opposite sex? There was one time when I thought I never, ever saw her again. Oh man, I forgot about that story. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell that one again. That one, that one's a one-time retell right there. 
Woo, that was embarrassing. So that's my answers to these questions. Now apparently I have to tag someone else and I choose I don't have any YouTube friends besides Dull Moments. That's kind of sad. I'll tell you what, I'm going to tag Glenn. No? Okay. Not going to tag Glenn. Ah, got it. Go big or go home, right? I'm going to tag Wheezy Waiter. He's another Chicago vlogger that I very much look up to and respect. Hopefully he'll have fun with this video. And I know that he has some friends that he can tag and kind of move this along. So there you go. Wheezy Waiter, you're tagged. Don't forget to LSC us, and we will see you guys on Monday. I promise. We will be back for a pre-trending. Bye! Now, you know how this is going to work? I'm going to tag all the timers. All the people watching this. You guys can look down in the description box. All the questions are there. Either comment on YouTube or on Facebook and answer all the questions. Or, if you really want to take it to the next level, make your own video answering all the questions. Post it on YouTube and make sure to send me a message or a link so I can go find it. And I can see all your beautiful responses. Maybe I'll cut a few of the best ones together and put them up on next week's vlog, huh? How's that sound? Fantastic. Glenn, are you sure you don't want to do this? Honestly, I know you have a wife, but I really want to know about question five through eight. Like, no, I'm serious. I'm quite... I don't walk... Come on, don't walk away.